This is the largest Scania factory in the world. It is located in the Netherlands near Zwolle city. So join me on a tour of this truck factory. Into this factory, we will have two separate assembly lines. First, we start in the press shop. Pressing in high pressure casting machines makes individual parts of the car's cabin stand out. These are then welded into a single unit by automated robots. You are now watching the welding of a Scania truck cab. After a detailed inspection of the welding comes the spraying of the protective layer and then the painting of the truck cab. In special paint chambers, all individual parts of the Scania truck are covered with several layers of paint. This is done almost entirely with the help of 16 expensive robot sprayers. The paint is sent to the robots by an advanced paint distribution system. This system sends the paint as a kind of pneumatic tube through a plastic pipe to the individual robots. The required amount of paint is transported to the robots through the original pipeline system. The painting process is fully automatic with the aid of 22 robots. Then they clean the parts in a power wash installation. After drying and cooling, the workers spray the parts in two separate paint lines in one of the 500 colors desired by the customer. After painting, the skids pass through an oven and a cooling zone. Around 120 trucks are produced every day in this factory. Scania currently produces five different series of trucks, three series of bus chassis and five complete buses. Scania produces around 90,000 total vehicles per year between their 10 production sites. In total, Scania has around 2,000 employees in its Netherlands factories. They are assisted in their assembly work by a number of robots. Along with the assembly of the truck cab, the production of the chassis is also underway. The ladder chassis assembly starts with four operators attaching the cross members to the two stringers. The load capacity of this frame is around 45 tons. Each workstation is timed in order to achieve a goal of minimum production time. Scania uses the concept of modular construction to assemble its trucks. Many types of trucks can be assembled on one chassis. The pre-assembled axles are added to the chassis. Chassis is from steel alloys and brackets made of aluminium. In this production workshop, wires, hydraulic hoses, cables and valves are placed on the already assembled and riveted frame. The quality of products produced by the Scania plant is the key value of the company. The individual parts of the entire truck are assembled separately. They are assembled together on the main assembly belt. The result is maximum efficiency in the production process. This production process is demanding in terms of planning and execution. However, Scania was founded in 1911 and has therefore had more than 100 years to fine-tune all the processes. The finished engine is lifted and attached to the driveline and chassis to complete the vehicle frame. This power engine provides an in-house developed OptiCruise gearbox that allows for better performance and fuel saving due to the reduced weight. This engine weighs 1,340 kilograms. This new Scania gearbox is designed with two cruising gears and therefore trucks can be built so that they normally drive in the second highest gear when driving with a heavy load and requiring a lot of power from the engine. In this gearbox there is also unique variable oil system which allows the gears to spin more easily, consuming less energy. When you drive the new Scania Super with the new gearbox, you won't even notice the gear system. The average salary for these workers at the Scania factory is around 5,000 euros, but it varies greatly depending on many factors. This is how fuel tank is added onto the chassis. 
It has a capacity of around 300 liters. In this way, the robotic arms prepare the truck cab for installation of the interior insulation, the main front dashboard, and then the front windshield is attached in one piece. After the truck body is attached to the chassis, all the electronic and hydraulic connections are made. The Scania cab is composed of 300 metal panels from the press shop that processes 150 tons of sheet metal daily. The vehicle body is finished and inspected before entering the wedding process with the chassis. The cabin is carried by an automated lift and lowered into position to be wedded with the chassis and bolted in by operators. After structural connections are made, the electrical connections follow to bring the vehicle to an almost finished condition. This is how the front grille of the Scania truck is attached to the cab. With the help of robotic arm, the worker thus does not have to lift any great weight. Pretty easy, don't you think? The tires are sent into the assembly line and are attached onto the truck with the use of a multi-nut wheel tightener. These electric trucks transport individual smaller parts across the factory floor. The huge logistics center with the individual parts of a Scania truck can be found in the bonus section at the end of this video. The new Scania R410 truck is mounted on a jack and the mounting is checked, then the tires are filled with air to the appropriate pressure. It is now possible to start the truck again and check all the controls from the driver's position. After the first start, all modules of the Scania truck are programmed. After that, the truck is tested on a roller stand, where the initial and working pressure of the brake circuit and the tightness of the brake actuator are checked. It now undergoes a functional check of the electrical and electronic components and a check that the correct wheel nut torque is set. The quality control process is long and orderly. The functionality of the truck's engine and gearbox is tested on a dynamometer and the tightening torque of all bolts is checked and corrected if necessary. Assembly is verified by visual inspection and a virtual design created using sophisticated software. Quality control is the last stage of production for every Scania truck. Of course, when developing a new model, the checking is much more demanding and everything is changed and improved over several months. When the quality control is finally complete, it's time for the test driving circuit. This is followed by a crash test. This is what the Skinia factory in Zwolle looks like. There are solar panels on the roofs and a huge parking lot of polished and newly constructed trucks in front of the production hall. These trucks are waiting to move to their customers, usually transported on a trailer or by rail. The Skinia cab is built on a strong metal frame this design is specially designed for the safety of the driver and also reduces damage to other cars in the event of an accident. Cab installation is one of the most spectacular stages in assembling our trucks. The equipment, which catches the cockpit and makes it appear that it is flying, has received the nickname Eagle. This logistics center is the hub between suppliers and the Skinia assembly plants. These workers place great emphasis on order and precision. Millions of parts for all types of Scania vehicles are clearly collated and categorized by computer and labels. From here, the smallest parts are delivered to the individual assembly halls, where they are assembled into the components that make up the entire truck at the end of the process. Most commonly used here are pallets, boxes, and forklifts. Components are transported here in long-haul trucks. The plastic body parts are loaded into a rack and sent to the paint shop. 
The process in the paint shop begins with mixing the paints using the base colors as a base and a software aid to achieve the correct ratio needed for each final color. In the paint cell, two Dura robots are used to paint all plastic parts from all directions. Software is used to visualize the assigned path and spray coverage of each robot so that they can be programmed appropriately. To have the greatest coverage, hand painting helps to ensure even painting and corrects any spots missed by the robots. Painted parts are inspected using various techniques such as direct eye gaze and hardness inspection tools before proceeding to the assembly line. Surface imperfections caused by excess paint are corrected by detailed sanding and polishing.